For 77-year-old Sukh Kumari, who's never lived in a house with its own toilet, defecating in private has never been easy. She is now blind, and her daughter Nanda says it's become almost impossible. <laughs> Sukh Kumari's experience isn't unique. Globally, some two and a half billion people have no access to a clean toilet. That's one in every three people. In rural Nepal, that figure can be much higher. Elawati is a field officer working with the water sanitation and hygiene project, WASH. Everything will be drawn on the ground. Uh, community people will draw everything, like a water resource, toilet, household. People will realize, OK, if we defecate uh, outside, then th this will directly uh, contaminate water resource. The UN's Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council, WSSCC, manages the Global Sanitation Fund, which was established to gather and direct money and resources for national programs that promote hygiene and support access to sanitation for the poorest. Dinesh Pakarin is building his first toilet. Recognizing the importance of sanitation to the private sector and benefits to communities everywhere, the United Nations has made sanitation a top priority. It recently launched a call to action campaign urging an end to the practice of open defecation worldwide by 2025.